Good morning and welcome. You're watching the Comics FX Daily Outlook for Friday, May 8th. The euro declined 0.92% against the US dollar and closed at 1.1239. The greenback traded on a stronger footing after the seasonally adjusted initial jobless claims in the US advanced less than expected to 265.00k in the week ended 2nd of May 2015, compared to market expectations of an advance to a level of 279.00k. Other economic data show that consumer credit in the US recorded a rise of $20.52 billion in March, while market expectations were for it to climb $15.80 billion. The pair is expected to find support at 1.1143, and the fall three could take it to the next support level of 1.1079. The pair is expected to find first resistance at 1.1332, and the rise three could take it to the next resistance level of 1.1457. Trade and trends in the euro today are expected to be determined by Germany's industrial and trade balance data, scheduled in a few hours. Meanwhile, the US non-farm payrolls data, scheduled later today, would grab a lot of market attention. The British pound rose 0.87% against the US dollar and closed at 1.5374 after the first exit polls showed that Britain's Prime Minister, David Cameron, would retain his power. The pair is expected to find support at 1.5267, and the fall through could take it to the next support level of 1.5048. The pair is expected to find first resistance at 1.5603, and the rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1.5719. Going forward, markets keenly await the outcome of the UK elections. Meanwhile, Britain's trade data for March, scheduled in a few hours, would give more information about the health of the economy in the first quarter. The US dollar strengthened 0.26% against the Japanese yen and closed at 119.72. In the early hours today, the Bank of Japan minutes from its latest monetary policy meeting indicated that the nation's economy has continued its moderate recovery trend, while inflation expectations appear to be rising from a long-term perspective. Additionally, the minutes also indicated that the central bank's QE program was showing its intended results and will continue until price stability target of 2% is achieved. That the pair is expected to find support at 119.34, and the fall three could take it to the next support level of 118.72. The pair is expected to find first resistance at 120.28, and the rise three could take it to the next resistance level of 120.61. The Australian dollar weakened 0.82% against the US dollar to close up 0.7902. Earlier today, the Reserve Bank of Australia, in its quarterly statement on monetary policy, downgraded its GDP forecast for Australian economy to 2-3% to in the year ending December 2015, a half percent downward revision from its previous forecast and indicated growth was picking up between 25 to 3.5% in June 2016. Additionally, the central bank offered no clear signal about future interest rate cuts amid concerns about slowing Chinese growth and weak business investment in Australia. Elsewhere, in China, Australia's biggest trading partner, trade surplus widened less than expected to $34.13 billion in April. The pair is expected to find support at 0.7825 and the fall three could take it to the next support level of 0.7772. The pair is expected to find first resistance of 0.7969 and the rise three could take it to the next resistance level of 0.8060. Gold prices traded lower by 0.75% against the US dollar at 1183.10 per ounce, as better than expected initial jobless claims data in the US tend to demand for the safe haven metal as an alternative investment. Meanwhile, gold holdings of the SPDR Gold Trust remained unchanged at 741.75 tons, from its previous close of 739.06 tons. The pair is expected to find support at 1177.93, and the fall three could take it to the next support level of 1172.76. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 1188.23, and the rise three could take it to the next resistance level of 1193.36. That was it for today. Make sure you check out our new affiliate program. As an IB, you will not only be maximizing your growth potential, but you will also enhance your client network. The ComicsFX Introducing Broker program is one of the most rewarding in the Forex industry.
stay in the know by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and Instagram, circling us on Google Plus, and of course, subscribing to our YouTube and ComicsFX TV channels. Have a great trading day.